Hello there, this is Patricia from Pinky's World. Um, today I have uh, I have made a little box for a present I have bought. I have bought two of them, I have two sisters, and these are just wee small gifts to go along with their present. And I want to dicky them all up, so this is what I've made for them. It simply is a box using the envelope punch board, and it's so easy, but so effective. And I made it just to fit perfectly the wee gift inside is... A lovely way it comes like a wee stand you can set it up and it's just a wee sister quote I smile because you're my sister I laugh because there's nothing you can do about it I know exactly which sister to give this to and she'll get a real kick out of it but <coughs> excuse me I have a tickly cough tonight and I have a sore thumb we're getting work done in our kitchen at the minute and I thought I would be real brave and help out and the first thing I did was slice my thumb so I'm banned from the kitchen, <laughs> thankfully. So anyway, this is what I came up with. And for this one, I used um, the Share What You Love sweet, which was out a good wee while ago. It's out of the, the main catalogue. Um, we kind of forget about the main catalogue during celebration and the spring catalogue and stuff. So it's nice to, to revisit these. And these papers are just superb. But the next one I'm going to make from the other sister is using something from celebration the free botanical papers butterfly papers but i thought you would enjoy seeing this one too so we'll move on and show you what i've got uh, this this is the paper i'm using it's spotty on one side and lovely color butterflies on the other side and um you need a seven and a quarter inch square piece for the envelope if you're buying these you get these in a, on a, a shop in the high street you'll know it when you see them you will see them it's a very popular shop but so cut your paper seven and a quarter inches square and the first punch is three and a quarter inches so line it up punch it and score and then just simply move it up to four inches don't take it out just move it up punch and score that's giving me my depth for the wee gift so then we're just going to spin it round line it up and punch as we go two on each side just line it up with those original creases that you made and punch and score and just keep turning round i love 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 the scoreboard the envelope scoreboard who doesn't want one of these like there are so many tutorials out there you will get your money's worth out of it and have so much fun I wouldn't be without it. So just keep doing that. You get all four done. I need to concentrate and not talk to you. So that's it all done. <clears throat> so we'll just do our wee scores. I'm keeping the butterfly turning out because that's where the pattern I want to show so you decide yourself if you're using double sided or if you're just using plain card it doesn't matter but this paper is beautiful it's one of the freebies that you can pick during celebration and sometimes I just don't want to use it it's so pretty and there's plain like um black and white let me see if I can get you picture lovely black and white butterflies that you can punch that comes along with the punch if you order the punch as a a package uh, you get a stamp set that matches it as well and the punch goes together as a bundle so you save them 10 but this if you order those then you can buy this or get this free as your celebration choice and then the punch actually fits around these and the small ones so what's not to like and then you can color it in to match so if we want to do a wee bit of cutting just check which way i want that facing up so we'll cut into these two in that inside um crease see it i'm hoping you can see it the last video i confused myself with it some of the patterns are just so hard to cut into and the way i had laid out my design i had to cut into the pattern size i couldn't turn it around i'll only confuse myself so we'll do this two of these we're going to put um glue on and glue the bottom i want the top one to open for the open so just put a wee bit of glue on each of these and we'll make the wee box shape. 
back thumbs now with this plaster. Now, hopefully that's going to sit all nice. You could actually put your wee gift inside. This is the other one. A sister is like a good bra, supportive and it supportive, lifts you up and is close to your heart. That's fun one too. Like. They're really cute. And it is just a bit of fun. So uh, hopefully I will do my card and all to match this and just I love to make gift sets. I hate giving all helter skelter everything that matching them. A match me up kind of girl. So, a bit of glue along the edges there. And just hold it in nice and neat. So that you get good and neat corners. Don't worry about seeing a wee bit of it there. It's no bother, it's just the size that I've used. And as I say, if you pick these up, they'll make it. Even if you're selling on a craft or anything, they're lovely. And this paper is beautiful. So, that's that one. I'm just gonna tuck these two in. So they're nice and neat and then this will just close down and then we're making a belly band and that's going to hold it on nicely. So for your belly band you're going to need a piece of card that measure. I've actually done the scores on this. I sometimes I get ahead of myself. I've done the scores anyway. You need a piece that measures uh, the length of an A4 sheet, an A4 sheet of card, just the way it comes to you. One strip measuring two and a half inches wide and then you're going to score it at um, two and seven, squirt this way, two and seven eighths, then three and a half, seven and a half, and eight and one eighth, and that's that should fit round your, your wee do do nicely. And don't put you don't want to put it on too tight, you can actually, when you're putting it round, just loosen it slightly so that it's not desperately tight. So that if you wanted, you could slip it off. But at the same time, I am not actually slipping it off. As I showed you with that other one, I'm just going to slip the lid out. So you still don't want it deadly tight because you want to be able to get that lid in and out nice and easily. For your closure. So I'm just going to put this on with a bit of tape runner. Save any hassle and any mess. So just do it down the short side. I mean the short side that folds over, not the actual short side. So just make sure that your card is nicely lined up. No gaps there. And then we're going to put two wee pieces of the matching of the inside, which is just the other side of this paper. If you put it on like that, it's just going to be too much. So I thought the inside wee black and white spots would be lovely. So uh, we're just going to put that on with a tape runner as well. Um, they measure three and seven eighths by two and two eighths and you need two of them, just the front and back. I wanted to show the green on the sides. If you don't, just tear away and cover it. That kind of covers your crease and I meant to say, for your opening, I want the crease to the left hand side. So we'll just put that back in. Scooch it up a wee bit. And then the other side, put this on. Now, we're going to thread a piece of this lovely Wisp of White ribbon. We're probably, you know, we're not going to bother. I'm going to use lemon lime twist, which would sit better, wouldn't it? So this one is lemon lime twist and it's finely woven ribbon. But all these details will be down below if you're interested in getting it. If not, use something that you have. But it's nice to get it all matching. So I'm not tying a bow, I'm just bringing it up to the top there and just tying a wee knot, just a double knot. Sorry about that plaster, I'm sure it's not very nice to look at. 
but the fingers even worse to look at or the thumb I should say and very painful <coughs> the air was a bit blue let's say when I when it happened so that is nice I like that so now we're just going to go with a piece of we if you have any scraps use your scraps up and your get your one and a half inch circle punch punch yourself a circle and then get yourself some wisp of white and have a wee small one and three it's scallop circle and I'm just going to go with black because there's a lot of black in it just and I'm using this wee stamp which is out of the beautiful bouquet this is a great wee set too it has so many wee sentiments so I'm just going with a happy birthday because it is for their birthdays. Ooh! Ooh! See that thumb, it's useless to me. Useless. I'm just using um, Memento Black Ink here. And then we're just going to stick it on with the tape runner. And we're actually just going to stick this so that it looks like it's been attached like a wee tag but it hasn't a faux tag is that what we call it just pop it in there so it looks like it belongs to it and i want to put away i don't think i have any black ones left so hmm, haven't got any green ones I have a yellow one we'll stick a yellow one in just for for the meantime, these are the artisan pearls. It's not going to sit very well. I prefer black, but I will get that sorted before I have a bit of time before the birthday. So now we want a wee butterfly. So I want to show you. So get your sheet, and your butterfly punch has two butterflies: the big one and the small one. And get yourself a piece of that um, patterned paper, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> and try and get yourself a butterfly out of there without ruining any others. Even if you've only half one, you can cut that away and use it as a smaller butterfly even, rather than wasting it, you know. And the other side of that is lovely green too. So... A wee tip too, if you have cut it because you're trying to save, get yourself a piece of card. A wee skinny strip of card. Pop a bit of tape runner on the edge of it. And pop that onto your butterfly, onto the back of your butterfly paper. And that gives you a wee holder to be able to slide that in and line it up properly. So you're not trying to fight it around and get it in the right place or the wrong place. It's not very easy to control if you haven't got a long sheet. So a bit of card, pop it in, and there you go. See if you any hassle and means you can use up all those wee bits. Now, to do that, we'll want to colour it in a wee bit. So I have got lemon lime twist, but I do have olive, and maybe we'll just go with it. Oh, so many things on my want list. I'm building my markers up as best I can. Um, I'll bring that down for you a wee bit so you can see what I'm at here. So I'm using the darkest colour, and just it actually the butterfly is actually shaded and all for you to show you where to put your your dark shades so it makes coloring in very easy if you're a beginner just color in those shaded bits nice both sides with your darkest color this is only paper some people like to put a light color down and then a bit of dark and then go back over the light because this is just a uh, paper you don't want to soak it too much so you don't want too many layers of markers 
So I just go in with the dark and then back over with the light. It seems to work okay. Just blend it in with this one now. It won't be the best colour. Don't rush it, take your time. You'll go over your edges, like telling your child of primary school, keep your colours in your lines. It's a wee bit dark, isn't it? But it's all I have, so I'm going to go with it. And I'm actually going to put a little bit of a daffodil delight in these wee spots around the edge just to give it a wee lift. There is a bit of yellow in the butterflies. So hopefully it'll pick it up a wee bit. I'm wondering if I went over in yellow, would it give it a wee? I'll give it a go. Just want to say don't soak your, your paper. It might lime it up. Mm, it's not bad, it's helping it a wee bit. Do mix your colours. If you haven't got full colours, try try something else and see if it works. Then just get yourself when it's dry. Curl your wings. Don't pull them off, just curl them. And then bend that up. And you can either use if you have the gala stamp, you'll get the antennas as a wee stamp. If you haven't got them, just use a pen, a black pen. And I just put that in straight. So, if you have a black fine liner pen, you can just continue those up. And that gives you the wee antenna that you haven't to worry too much about it. So, that's it. On the back, you could put a wee verse or the person's name if you want to really personalize it i'm going to go back out again here and finish it off nicely you can make it really personal if you're going to craft furs and stuff you might just want them sitting like that they will sell for you they definitely will sell and how quick and easy was that like if you haven't got an envelope punch board get one of any brand whatsoever get yourself one they are a great tool I have had that one that I used there for years. I have had it for so many years. And it was only from joined Stampin' Up that I began to use it a whole lot more. So do invest in one. They're really good value. So that's me done. That's two nice wee gifts. I'm going to make matching cards for these this week. So I'd have it all prepared for the months ahead of me. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be back again next Tuesday with something exciting, I hope. So thanks for watching. Bye.